ear back here and it just seems bigger. Is that what that is? Yes, I know. Okay, well, good, good, good. Looks, looks like you're having a good time. So where you been, Juan? It's been, been a few uh, few weeks, hasn't it? Yes, I was in, in Brazil uh, 10 days, uh, sometime uh, two weeks later. And this weekend I was I was in a city that is 200 miles from Buenos Aires. Okay, so good. Sounds like you're having fun. So good, good. Okay, let's see who else is here. Breno! Breno's Hello. back. Hey, Breno, good. <laughs> good, good, good. From class to another. Yep, from one class to another. Uh, Dondi. Hello, Dondi. Hello, Dondi. Okay, all right. So, Omar. Hey, Omar. How are you? Hi. How are you, Omar? I'm fine. What's that? I'm really fine. You're good? You're good? Uh, What's that, Omar? Yes, I'm pretty good. Okay, so good, Omar. Omar, where are you from? I'm from Syria. From Syria? Yes. Okay, all right. Well, I hope uh, I hope things are getting better in your country. You know, I know you're having a tough time. Yeah. So good, Omar. Omar, Omar, you might want to adjust your microphone a little bit so it's a little bit louder. Hello, Zhang. Welcome back, Zhang. Hello, Omar. Okay. So, Omar, Omar. Okay, good. Got that out of the way. Hello, Zhang. Okay. Yes, Zhang. Do you drink Chinese tea? Do I drink Chinese tea? Yeah, this is Chinese tea. Yeah, yeah, this is Hangzhou Char, Dragon Well tea. Oh. Okay. Only, only the best thing. Only the best, right? You know. No, one thing. I, one thing I don't go cheap on is tea. A lot of stuff I go cheap on, right? You know, like even my dog's a fake dog, but um, but I won't go cheap on tea. So uh, let's see if we can get Donnie. Hey, Donnie, let me show you something, okay? All right. This is real cool here, Donnie. So Donnie. Hi, Donnie. So Donnie. Dondi, look up over here, all right? If your microphone is red, that means it's muted, okay? Also, too, if, okay, Dondi, that freaked her out, or him, or who, whoever. Maybe it's a, uh, a lady boy, who knows? So, okay, so let's go on in here. All right, so good. So, guys, this is reading and vocabulary. So we have this reading lesson in here about people that are a um, uh, a music. All right, we're going to do this, and we also have time in here where we have some vocabulary. Don't cheat, but if you want to take a little look ahead of time, I have no problem with that. Okay, just don't don't go down to like you know mark the answers and everything else, guys. Okay, but you can take a look at that. If we have time, we'll also talk about music, what we like about music. But the main thing they wanted us to teach you today is about people that are um, that are tone deaf. That are tone deaf. Let me see if I can do one other thing here. Is is anybody here tone deaf? No, teacher. What is it? Uh, so yeah, it's basically um, you know when you have a hard time distinguishing between different songs and so forth. All right. All right. You know, you couldn't tell the difference between the national anthem and Beyonce. All right, that that means actually it would be good to be tone deaf. You know why? You know why? Can anybody guess? Because even Justin Bieber's music would. Oh, <laughs> I got it, Paul. I just read Paul's stuff. Paul, you beat me to the punch. Very good, Paul. I could have had to stop my joke since Paul already beat me to it. But good, good, good. <laughs> Fantastic, Paul. Really good stuff. Okay, I love it. Okay. All right, so let's uh, let's just start reading here. We'll go through the vocabulary. And the reason I have this split screen is because I might grab words. You know, I might grab grab words and then uh, bring them over here. Okay, and then just put images up. 
so that way you can kind of see things in here. Uh, some things you won't be able to put up here that, that make sense. All right, but some I'll be able to. Okay, Amar, go ahead. Can you read this for us? Listening displeasure, not being able to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, me or Omar? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Amar. And Omar left. Omar left just his popcorn was, uh, was blowing up. So. You can call me Amir if you want. Um, no, not being able to sing happy birthday might mean you are too deaf. But what, uh, what if you can't actually tell the difference between it and the national um, anthem? Um, that's where a, a, con a condition called the music comes in and uh, here, uh, here is a test to find out if it affects you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, more than one uh, in ten uh, of us claim to be tune deaf, but uh, despite the term uh, most tune deaf, people can hear music perfectly well. They just can't sing. Okay, wait. Um, good. Okay. okay. So yeah. So in here, um, so one out of ten. One in ten. All right. In other words, ten percent of us claim to be tone deaf and we say that we're tone deaf we make that claim um, uh, so people when they can't sing properly will joke around and say oh I'm just tone deaf alright when you're really not actually tone deaf it's just that you can't sing alright and our national anthem so it's just comparing the song you know happy birthday with the national anthem People wouldn't be able to understand the difference between the two of those. Okay. All right. Uh, let's continue on here. Uh, Breno. Hello. Can you read this next part here? A different condition. <clears throat> okay. A different condition, however, does involve a problem in making sense of music. Research has shown that some people term it. Uh, a music can neither produce or nor perceive music. Termed. Oh, it's okay. Uh, termed. 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 All right. Uh, it it isn't a problem of the ears. They can understand other sounds perfectly well, but. Uh, but uh, I don't know. But, uh, I'm I'm lost. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. No problem. But when no problem. it comes to music, I'm sorry. But but it comes to music, all tones uh, sound the same. See links below the for the test. Okay. So yeah, and it's just talking like tunes, you know, uh, calling it a song, a tune. Can you play me a tune? Can you play me a song? Same thing. That's what it means by tunes in here. Um, okay. Oops, so A music. Uh, yeah. So produce nor perceive music. So what that means is they can't create it. So they, they couldn't they couldn't sing. You know, they couldn't sing a song properly. Right and perceive music. They can't tell the difference between music and a normal everyday conversation. Right? So that's produce nor perceive. Okay. So here we are. So okay, Juan. Go ahead, Juan. Yes, sure. Yes. Oh yeah, can you read here while most of us are sensitive? Okay. okay. While most of us are sensitive to a small change in pitch. A music people need to notes to be very far apart before they heard them as different. It's no surprise then that music which tends to move in small steps is literally literally um, lost among them. Yeah, literally, literally lost on them. Mm -hmm. 
Ok. Thou most amusia suffer, suffers find listening to music pointless. Some even find it annoying and unpleasant. Okay, so good, good. So yeah, so these are the different pitches in music. We have a low pitch, high pitch, and so forth. And it's just the contrast in sound. All right. Okay. Um, so sensitive, that means you can tell the difference. Okay. All right. Uh, you can hear it. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it gets lost. Um, so pointless. So pointless. So what that means is uh, there will never be anything successful out of it. So it's pointless. Like if you have a pointless pursuit, there's no reason for you to do it because you won't gain anything. All right? There's no benefit with something that's pointless. And then annoying, um, that's like when somebody uh, doesn't mute their microphone. Okay? And unpleasant, same, same thing. Okay? So, it, well, actually, annoying is when something just bothers you. All right, and distracts you. Unpleasant is when something is either causing you pain or some sort of other sort of uh, strain. Okay, let's continue on here. Okay, go ahead. Luisa, can you read here? Uh, Ana Vere. Okay. <clears throat> Annie Berry, an a music from Newcastle, describes music as an irritant. When she heard the theme tune to brief encounter, voted the UK's favorite piece of classic music for the past five years, she described it as banging that would be best avoid it. But unless willing to shut themselves off from the many social occasions in which music plays a role, a music must endure whatever life jackbox throws at them. It's a jukebox. So this is, uh, this is something where you press buttons, you put money inside of it, and then you press buttons, and then it plays music. All right? It used to be really popular in the old diners in the United States. All right? Um, so, yeah, an irritant. So, again, something that, that bothers you. All right? An irritant can also be, uh, like, for example, if you ever had a lemon squeezed in your eye, if you ever had a cut and somebody put salt on it, all right, that would be an irritant, something that, that bothers you. All right, okay, and let's see in here. Okay, yeah, so here's an expression shut themselves off. So, shut themselves off. So, if you think of a hose, okay, so this is a, uh, this is a nice um, expression here, nice idiom. Okay, so when you have a faucet, right, so you can shut it off. Just like you, you can shut yourself off. These people can shut themselves off from the many social occasions, meaning to not go out, all right? An endure, that means you have to put up with. Okay. So, not, not Omar, but Omar. Hello, Omar? Hello. Hi, Omar. Can you read this with Anne Recalls? Can you see this, Anne Recalls? Um, actually, I lost my seat, so... Uh, it's okay, but you lost your seat, but not... Where is the, uh -huh. the, the link? Well, you can, can you see on my screen? Can you see my screen, Omar? No, I can't. I just told you. Okay, so do you have the link now, Omar? 
is it uh, uh, Mia's DC? Okay. I have a really bad uh, connection here. Yeah, so Omar, we'll skip, we'll skip you for now, Omar, but you got to get your act together, okay? We'll skip you for now. Next time we come to you, make sure that you have everything together, okay? We'll skip you for now, though. Go ahead, Paul. Can you read here? Anne recalls. Okay. Anne recalls times when she was asked to go to a friend's house to listen to music. Far as dinner dances or does, I really, really dreaded these occasions. The behavior of another Amusha, suffer, sufferer goes beyond passive endurance. She confesses that she puts a CD on the stereo whenever they in entertains. Whenever she entertains, entertains. Oh, sorry, entertains uh, guests as a way of covering up for her own lack of musical affinity. Okay, so good, good, good. So, um, so recall, that's just to remember, to think back to, right? Okay. Um, let's see here. So dreaded, that just means when you hate something. Like, you know, like maybe, maybe you dread to go to your mother-in-law's house. Okay. And yep, very good. Thanks, uh, thanks, Paul. So Rodrigo, like Paul says, the way you act, your behavior. Okay. So, um... Let's see, passive endurance. So what that means is when you're, you're passive, um, you're just kind of sitting back. You're not doing anything. So passive endurance, what this is, it's just sitting there and just waiting for something, okay? And just enduring it and dealing with it and letting it go on. So with this one here, this person, they put a CD. I don't know if you guys know what a CD is. Does yes. anybody still have a CD yeah. player? Yes. Okay. All right. So you guys realize that, that most people are, you know, like uh, seven and eight-year-olds, they're not even going to know what a CD is. You know, they're just going to be confused. So it puts a CD on the stereo whenever uh, she entertains guests, okay? So that's the opposite of passive endurance because she's becoming active in this, all right? And she does it covering up, all right? So covering up. Covering up is a good expression. When human beings cover up something, they try to hide it. So she's trying to cover up or hide this issue that she has, her own lack of musical affinity, which is her uh, amusia. Okay, let's see here. Um, Zhang, can you read? Hello, Zhang? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. So can you read here, Lost mm -hmm. in Music? Yes, I can. Lost in Music. For some... Um, for some amusia. Uh, suffer... Sufferers of what in music is not an option for a simple reason that seeing is part of the job description. Until he returned, re, the river, Reverend, the Reverend, Reverend, the Reverend Jim Cross was required to seen in part of his Sunday services. He sees of his same ability and to the land something and to the land sometimes I get the right note and sometimes I do not but I cannot tell his congregation, however he had the no trouble in sporting. When Jim went off, he and the elementary gave him special di dispensation. Dispensation. To, dispensation. Dispensation to 
Simplify the lens allowed. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh. Okay, so he's a reverend, okay? And his reverend, this reverend has a congregation. So a reverend is somebody who's like a priest that stands up here and preaches to everybody. His congregation are the people in his church in here. Um, yeah, so job description. So when somebody says job description, it's exactly what it is. What is your job? What are the parts of your job? So part of being a reverend is you have to sing in church, okay? So you have to sing in church. Um, okay. So off key. So in music, you have musical notes. Okay. All right. And you're off key when you're not following these musical notes. Okay. Oh wow, musical note tattoos. Oh, I know what I'm getting for Christmas next year. Okay. <laughs> Right. What is of K this uh, description teacher? Of K. Say, say that again. Of K. What is it? The expression. Of key. Yeah. So if you're singing, so um, shoot, let me do this. So off key is when you're singing, and you don't hit the right notes. Okay. So if you're supposed to be like going up, do 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 do, and maybe you start to go up, and then you. And you're off key, so you can be off key when you're singing, and you can also be off key when you're playing a musical instrument. Do you um do you sing? Yes, sometimes. Can you can you sing for me right now? What do you like, teacher? Uh, any any song, any song, even a Brazilian song. It doesn't matter. Any song. Brazilian song. Yeah. Um, <laughs> A uh, Brazilian song can be Fuma, 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 folha de bananeira Fuma de amor e solte brincadeira Okay, good, 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 excellent. excellent. Good one, good one. Yeah, so, Juan so Arroyo, think... Garota de Ipanema. <laughs> Sim, so do you song. <laughs> Deixa que coisa mais linda de corpo dourado. Tu sou de Panema que eu vi passar. Finish, teacher. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. But but do you think that you sing every note exactly like the original singer? No, teacher. Yeah, so it's okay. So it's off key. And tr trust me, you would not want me to hear me uh, sing anything. Okay. But um. But yeah. By the way, Luisa also does a good job of singing. She's uh, she's been in some of the musical classes singing, so that's a little, okay. little surprise there. So maybe maybe if we have some time, well, actually this this one I don't know if we'll have it. Yeah, we might have some time. Yes, maybe. but I'm crazy, teacher. I'm crazy. You know. You're what? I'm crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay. You know yes. what? It's uh, most of the people that think they're sane are crazy. Most of the people that think they're crazy are sane. So don't worry about it. You're uh, you're in good hands. So. All right, so good, good, good. Uh, let's see. So back to Omar. Okay, Omar is gone. Okay. All right. Yes. Can you um, can you read this part here? Yes. Um, also, anecdotal reports suggest that figures in history, such as she, Che Guevara, and the American president. Um, Ulysses S. Grant were um, deflected with a, a museum. Uh, the condition has only recently became, uh, become a, a topic of uh, scientific interest. Uh -huh. right, go ahead. Uh, a, a team uh, headed by Isabella uh, Brett. Uh, at the University of uh, Montreal has pioneered uh, research into the disorder, um, devising a test which can uh, diagnose uh, whether people are likely to be uh, a music or not. In the test, two uh, tunes are played which may be indi indicated Identical or may uh, differ at a s uh, single point. 
Okay, good, good, good. Identical. Good, good how you corrected yourself with that. Okay. Um, yeah. So, and just, just also two in words. So, who's that? Uh, who's the echo coming from? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was, uh, it was Omar. But um, just remember, any time that you're looking at words, and if they look a little odd, as far as maybe with their pronunciation, you can always just pull them up and then look at them and figure out the uh, phonetic spelling. And this one has two, right? has two of them. So either of these are correct. And it isn't showing that it's correct, like if it was a noun, say it one way. If it's a verb, say it the other way, like you see with some of them. So anecdotal. Um, anecdotal, okay? So you can put the emphasis either on the A-N or the D-O-H, all right? Again, that's just a phonetic spelling in there. Okay, so back to this. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so I was just showing this guy, uh, Shay. I need to read more about him. Right? He's supposed to be a great uh, revolutionary. Um I'm sure some of you can can share uh, your opinions on him, and uh, so afflicted with amusia, all right. Afflicted that means where you have that, where you have that, okay. You're afflicted with it. It's like you could be afflicted with a disease or whatever the case. All right. Okay. When they say a topic, a topic. So that just means like something that you talk about. So when they talk about this, they're saying that it's only recently become a topic of scientific interest. It's only something that they now really talk about in more detail that people are interested in. Okay, so diagnose. That's where you look at it. You take somebody in and you put them through tests to see if they... Um, they have an issue or not. All right, so let's continue on here. So, so go ahead, Breno. Can you read here? If the difference. Okay. <clears throat> if the difference is a chain and pitch, people with amusia will not spot spot it. Even if the chain is. Glaringly, glaringly. The, the screen is embarrassing. Uh, right. Even if the chain is glaring, obvious, <clears throat> causing the tone to go out of the key. Of key. Comics such as Lewis Daws, Dawson may have built a comedic career out of such musical blunders, but people with um, amusia just don't hear the joke. Just then here. Did you? Family affair. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Family affair. In the general population, there appears to be a great deal of variab variability in people's uh, capacity to spot difference between tons. The individual differences in this ability have been shown to be in large part genetically determined. Determined. Mm -hmm. Genetically determined, okay? Genetically so, determined. De determined. Yeah, determined, okay? Determined. So, it's, yep, determined, okay? So, um, yep. So, uh, let's see here. Glaringly obvious. Glaringly obvious. So what this means is, you can you can just see it. So something is obvious, you can tell, right? Okay, it's apparent. You understand that, all right? So if something's glaringly obvious. It just means no matter what, you have to be a complete idiot to not see this. Okay, all right. It's glaringly obvious. All right. So uh, and here. I'm sorry, I was just reading Rodrigo. Rodrigo, you want my Skype ID? My Skype ID is uh, hot1292, Rodrigo. Skype me anytime, sweetheart. So, um, <laughs> just kidding, Rodrigo. Just kidding, Rodrigo. Don't get upset. So, um, 
So comics in here, okay. Yeah, blunders. So blunders like a mistake. Blunder. Hey, Rodrigo, that was a joke. That's not my Skype ID. I wouldn't have, have, have a Skype ID that's hot one. Okay. I'm sorry, Rodrigo. <laughs> but Rodrigo, yeah, just try to leave the chat just kind of to um, just kind of the way things are going, okay? No problem, Rodrigo. Don't be upset. Come on, you know? So um, maybe, maybe he has this amnesia. He's just mad. All right, amnesia. So, um, so yeah, musical blunders. So blunders are just when you do things wrong, okay, when you make mistakes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they just don't hear the joke. Okay, so here, uh, let's go ahead, let's continue on here. So the general population, anytime this refers to this, this means like the majority of people, okay, and the general population, all right? Just, or, pardon me, not the majority. This means in the population as whole, of, of the whole, okay? Right, variability. So this is a difference, you know, from one to the other. Okay, and all right. So genetically determined. So what this means here is that a lot of people, if your mom's tone deaf, okay, and has uh, amnesia, amnesia, then you're going to be tone deaf as well. Okay, so just just see if you're tone deaf. And if you're tone deaf, you're not allowed to breed anymore. Hello, Tasiao. Hi, Tasiao Barros. Hi, Tasiao. How are you? Yeah, Tasiao, your microphone might be muted. It's okay, Tasiao. Okay, all right. Yeah, there you go. Hey, hey Tasiao, where, where, yeah, where are you from? Are you, are you from uh, Vietnam? <laughs> I'm no, just kidding. You're from Brazil, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good. This is good. I have a Brazilian gang that's following me today, so good. <laughs> well, welcome, Tasia. Welcome to class. We're talking about uh, amnesia. amnesia. Yeah, you, yeah. Right? I, was, I was listening to you. Okay, it's good. Been, I have never heard about it. Very, very different topic. Yeah, well, maybe you didn't hear about it because maybe you have it. You couldn't tell the difference between uh, regular. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sure you don't have it. Okay. So, uh, so yep. Great. Uh, yes. Please, uh, have you ever met someone like that? Have I ever met somebody like that? I don't. I don't. I don't recall meeting anybody like this. You know. So I know some people that claim that they're tone deaf, but they don't really have this. So yeah, I don't. I don't remember meeting anybody like this. Mm -hmm. How about you? Has, has anybody met anybody like this besides Justin Bieber? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I've never. Yeah, never actually, I, I think Leonardo DiCaprio is the same ways too. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Okay. So good, guys. Um, let's continue on here. So, Luisa, Denise, Dryana, Dranya, Dryna. Hey. Okay. Okay. Uh, Denise Dryna from the National Institute of Health in the United States measured performance of identical twins who share all their DNA and non-identical twins who share only half their DNA on a test of musical listening. He showed that the identical twins performed much more similarly on the test and estimate that between 70% and 80% of the via variability in performance can be accounted for by the genes. Okay. So good, good, good. So, yeah, and we all know genes like genetics. Okay, all right. We have your double helix and all that. So, um, and here, and identical twins, I'm showing you pictures of identical twins. And um, non-identical twins are what they call what, paternal. 
twins. Okay. So fraternal twins. Okay. All right. So um, so let's see in here. Okay. All right. So yeah, seventy to eighty percent of the variability in the difference can be accounted or attributed to um, the genes. Okay, let's continue on. So Paul, can you read this uh, next part here, This the recent surge of interest? The recent surge of interest is, is amusia, in amusia has started in uh, this stigma, destigmatize. How do you pronounce it? Um, uh, destigmatized, destigmatized. Yeah. Destigmatized, thanks. The condition and many sufferers, sufferers have come forward to participate in the research. While a musical awakening is not, is not on the immediate horizon, the participants take comfort from the finding that they are not the only ones. And as researchers learn more about what amusia sufferers can and can't perceive, uh, there is always the possibility uh, that this knowledge could help sufferers gain access to a musical world. Okay. All right. So in here, yeah, let's just kind of see this. I want to get through the, uh, to the next one. Okay. All right. So in here, so uh, Tasiao. Tasiao. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Can you read? Uh, can you read? Actually, just just read. Uh, read all of this since you haven't been able to read anything yet. Okay. All right. So just deaf people. Uh, just as deaf people learn to enjoy music through its vibrations, people with a, a musical may be able to choose their listening material according to their residual abilities. Most musical sufferers can hear rhythm in music, and most can dance. If the banging of uh, Rajmanavas Payan and Concerto doesn't make it on the their iPod, perhaps some drum and bass could set their feet trapping. This seems very similar to how I would describe my color blind condition. Colors or shades have to be very different before I really notice the difference. I can see pastels. I need big and bold. Both these conditions affect the, the senses, so there is probably something similar with the smells and taste too. Okay, okay so good, good, good. All right, so let's uh, let's continue on here. So um, let me give this to you guys. Okay, so here's some musical musical vocabulary, just in case you can't can't see it on the screen. All right, so some of these words already came up. Um, but we can take a look at these uh, at these now, okay? All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these, all right, and see how well we can do with them. Okay. So okay. all right, all right, guys. Um, all right. So number one, a public performance. What is a public performance? On here, when you perform in public. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. And what do you call that? A concert. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And everybody, uh, everybody, feel free to uh, join in. Okay. So ev everybody, actually, just go ahead and unmute yourselves and join in. All right. Uh, number two, a collection of songs is what? Album. 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 Yep. Okay, and then uh, the number three, the words of a song. Like lyrics. Lyrics. Uh, lyrics. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, one song from a collection. Single. Single. Yeah, and most most artists put out uh, singles now, right? Okay. And the next one, a classification of the most popular songs. Top ten. Yep. Okay. And then the next one here, work on a project. This this is kind of hard. So it's work on a project when you're you're working with other people. 
What do you do when you're working with other people? What word up there? Collaborate. Bang. Yeah. Collaborate. Collaborate. Uh, so not recorded. So what this means, they're playing in front of you right now, for example. So it's not recorded music. It is. So if you're at a concert, you're listening to what music? Live. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a song with no words. Sound it's, right? Instrumental. 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 Yep. Okay. Uh, number nine. Number of times that a radio station plays a song. What is that called? And remember, they play the song over the air, right? Over the airwaves is what they call it. They play a song over the air. So the number of times at a radio station. Mm, no. So <laughs> think about what I was just saying. Airplay. airplay. It's persecution. Yep. That's okay. It's airplay. Persecution. <laughs> most most recent. What is most recent? Okay. Latest. 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 Okay. Uh, the singing in a song. So the singing part in a song. Vocal. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one. Uh, easy to remember and sing. Easy to remember and sing. What type of song is that? Catchy. Catchy. Yep. Okay. And that's usually due to what they call the hook. The hook in a song. Yeah, I'll show you what a hook is. Uh, the music of a song. Melody. Mm -hmm. okay. And next one here. Uh, recorded music at a concert. Don't worry, this, this one's hard. Okay. So this one here is backing track. Okay. The music for a film. Soundtrack. Mm -hmm. What's the greatest soundtrack ever? Anybody know? Don't say from Titanic. No, no, it's Bo Max. Oh, Max. Bohemian Bo Rhapsody. Uh, yeah. What, what? So, what movie was that on? Remember, so Maximum Maximum oh, Overdrive. Movie, okay. Is pretty good too. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll to check check it out. What's this next next one? Record. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the thirteen again? No, I'm sorry. Not the twelve. Number twelve in there, catchy. So it's easy to remember. It's catchy, and it's All catchy. Right, catchy. It has a hook. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at a hook. So number seventeen, the most popular song in a classification. Hit. It's actually. It's just number one. It's just number one. Okay. All right. So number one. Let's see who's here. Hello, Omar. You're back. Okay. Hi, Dondi. Hi, Dondi. Yeah. Hi. Can you hear me? Uh, yep. Yep. Hello. How are you, Dondi? Hello, Dondi. We can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you. And. Yep. Hello, you guys. Uh, hello, I can. I can hear yeah, again. yeah. Relax, relax. It's okay, Dondi. Dondi, can you hear us? Yes, absolutely. I okay, just come back. So, okay, no problem. Relax, Dondi. It's all right. No problem. Okay, all good. Okay, so okay. um, yep. So it actually uh, hmm. Yeah, let me show you what I put here. Okay, so um, so a hook, right? So a hook is like the chorus usually. All right. So like for example, um, in here, uh, we well, yeah, just go through here. Well, here, let's just look at some lyrics. Sorry. Uh, 
All right. Um, huh. Locked out of heaven. Okay, so you can see in this this song here. Does anybody know this song very well? This "Locked Out of Heaven" by Bruno Mars. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so what what do you remember most about this song? What what lyrics here do you remember most? Um, the chorus. Oh, the chorus. Uh, the chorus in here. This one here. Because your sex takes me to paradise. Wow. Oh. Is that yeah. what it is? Okay. So yeah, so th this is the hook then. So this this is what makes you remember the song. So that's what the hook in the song is. Okay. All right. Actually, I've never heard that one. Um, pour it up. Okay. Wow, boy, I haven't heard a lot of these, <laughs> these latest ones. Um, okay. All right, so let's see. I drive your truck. Uh, what's another one that you guys like on here? Anybody? Sorry? These songs here, does somebody like Stay? Does somebody like Girl on Fire? Is there a song here that anybody oh, enjoys? Oh, Justin Bieber. Very nice. <laughs> ah, this movie is great. The ghost in the corner. You, you need a beat. But seriously, guys, does anybody like this Pour It Up? You know, or Catch My Breath? Catch My yeah. Breath She's from not. Kelly Clarkson. So what is, yep, so what do, you, what do you remember in here? Is it this right here, Catch My Breath? No one can hold, hold, my, uh, hold me back? Is this the uh, is this the hook in this song? What, what what's the hook in this song? It's just something memorable in this one. So what do you remember most, uh, Luisa, when you hear this song? Well, I remember the the chorus. Um, the chorus. Catch my breath. I remember that part. Okay. Yep. So in the end, a lot of times the uh, the hook is just simply going to be the chorus. Okay. All right. So good, good, good. So now you know what a hook is, right? Because that's one of the most important parts of the song. All right. So um, yeah, not much time to to really start into this conversation with music here. We probably could have done a little more re reading, but we did some vocabulary. So um, so Tasio, Tasio, what's your favorite? What's your favorite musician? Um. I really like, um, I don't have a favorite one, but I really like Phil Collins, Another Day in Paradise, a very nice song. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, good, good. Another Day for You and Me in Paradise? Yep. <laughs> okay, so good. And that's probably the hook on that, right? How about, how about you, Paul? A couple of rappers and uh, an Iron Maiden. A couple of rappers and Iron Maiden? So, so who are these rappers? What's your favorite rapper? Are you an Eminem fan? Eminem and Jay-Z. Eminem and Jay-Z. So do you like his, uh, so did you like his song, um, uh, New York? It's here for New York? Yeah, do you think? pretty good one. Pretty good job? Okay, good, good, good. Um, and how about you, Omar? Looks like you're frozen, Omar. My, my favorite musician? Yep, your favorite musician, your favorite band. Um, I like, um, I really like uh, Yanni. You, know. you like Yanni? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, Hans Zimmer. I really like Hans Zimmer. The music of Amen. Who Who else do you like? Okay, who, who else do you like, Omar? Hmm. Okay. All right. So, okay. So, Luisa, how about you? Well, in this moment, I really like Sara Bareilles. Uh, and how do, how, do you, uh, how do you write that? It's like Sara... Okay, I'm going to Bareilles. Okay. Like that. Okay. Is that with three L's or four L's? 
I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> no, just two. <laughs> oh my god. Two. So is she? Uh, yeah, is she oh, I like her too. Yeah. She's so. No, she's great. No, she's American. She's American. Yeah, I okay. don't care what kind of song she sings. She sings, but yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul. <laughs> yeah, boy, she's, she's got a, a songwriter. Hey, she's got a heck of a nose on her, though, doesn't she? Where did that thing come? <laughs> what? Her nose. I mean, I I have a big nose too. You know, I'll admit it. But uh, wow, that thing is, is her nose pierced? You know, you know, she could just put like one of those big hooks in her nose. You know, no, don't say that. She's a great uh, singer, and she's yeah. also songwriter, and she's yeah. amazing. It's similar to Penelope Cruz, teacher. Uh, similar to Pen like, uh, right? Penelope Cruz. No, Penelope Cruz is much more beautiful. But um, yeah. how do you know uh, I love Penelope Cruz? She is um, beautiful. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Look, she, she's very talented. So she <laughs> is a songwriter. Or she sings as yes. well. Uh, well, she sings and she's a songwriter also. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Very good. A anyone else? Uh, no? And uh, and some uh, Latin music like Bella Nova from Mexico. It's a electro pop. It's a combination, mm -hmm. and a lot of. Um, Sp uh, rock in in Spanish from the eighties also like so the stereo mm -hmm. and um, hombres que from Spain and mm -hmm. well usually I like um, Taylor Swift some songs and yeah, yeah, nothing else <laughs> okay and Kelly Clarkson good. yeah oh. so Juan how about you Juan what what do you like I like reggae teacher. I like a lot of groups for Bob reggae. Marley. I don't know. Bob Marley. You like reggae? No, Bob Ma man, no clock. <laughs> <laughs> I see I see I see we have somebody with uh amnesia. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> so um, <laughs> just kidding. <coughs> Brenna, Brenna, just kidding. Um so so now I now I know why Breno when I was calling the other student you kept saying hello you you have uh, amnesia I get it I get it now so <laughs> no, I'm just just kidding Breno but uh, who else Juan so you like uh, Bob Marley you like Bob Marley's son yes uh, no Bob Marley yes yes teacher yes I I I have not a favorite singer but if I have to stay quiet and relax I I like reggae. Uh -huh. Do you uh, do you ever drink a beer while you're listening to reggae? No, teacher, nothing. Okay. What do you mean by nothing? No, I'm, just about I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just just go <laughs> on. But, but um, but yeah, I shouldn't even ask that question anyway. So uh, so okay, so good. What else? Reggae, and is there any any other type of music do you like? Do you like death metal? What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like heavy metal is called death metal. And I don't think somebody who likes reggae is going to like death metal as well. What do you like, teacher? What do I like besides Justin Bieber? Uh, actually, I like. No, no. I like. Uh, I like. Uh, I like electronic dance music. You know. Okay, so EDM and stuff like that, different beats like that. And also, my cousin has some pretty good music that I listen to, as well. And then you know if I'm if I'm out and about I'll just I'll just put something stupid on the radio because I'm too cheap. Um, fixed. Just give an example of a, a producer or a singer uh, or even oh, a yeah, still like Paul, yeah. So I mean I still like some of the old classics like Paul Oakenfold, Chemical Brothers. Oh, right? Chemical Brothers are nice. Yeah, yeah. Very so those nice. are, are two of the good ones, you know. Um, and also I like uh, I like some of. Um, Flowrider's work when he works with cheese. Uh, why can't I remember the name? Uh, the famous French guy. And he does some work there. And also, you know, I mean, uh, just 
Anyway, David Guetta. Brad, Brad, what about Gangnam yeah, David Style? David Guetta. What's that? David Guetta. What about Gangnam Style? Yeah. Do you like it? Gangnam Style, not at all. Not at all. David Guetta. And yeah. David Guetta. So, yeah. Guetta. I mean, yeah, he's on so many um, different, uh, so much different music, you know. Yeah. So it's pretty good. And I like the Killers. The Killers are pretty good too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Especially yeah. The, all these things that we've done. I mean, um, Daft excellent. Punk. Do you like it, Daft Punk? Yeah, Daft Punk, of course. Yeah, those yeah, are very good. good. Yeah, and you know that their their one video around the world is just it's just so funny. I mean, I don't know if you've seen that, but uh, pretty pretty funny the way they put that together. So uh, so Breno, how about you? What uh, what do you like? I like David Guetta too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, she wolves. She wolves is nice. Mm -hmm. And who else do you like? Uh, I like uh, Harlan Shake too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing, that thing is just invaded every place. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad nobody in my class has ever started to do that. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Not yet, right? <laughs> I figured, I figured for sure there'd be one class where like students invaded it and did the Harlem Shake, you know. Uh, anyway, but uh, <laughs> today so I was see. seeing a video that uh, how how to uh, Harlem Harlem people uh, reacts to Harlem Shake. Very mm -hmm. good. You have to check that one out. Yeah, Rodrigo. Everybody knows Fat Boy Slim. Fat yep. Boy Slim is blanking in heaven. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Fat Boy Slim. Uh, Amar, what about you? Yeah. What do you like? What do you like, Amar? Um, yes, I, I think nobody likes um, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. No, it's, no, there's plenty of people that like uh, that like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. No, plenty of people like Michael Jackson. Why not? You know. So. So. Um. If, what else? Any other ones? Um. As a fan of uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. I mean, Michael Jackson. I mean, he's an icon. You know, I mean, the guy. He was a he was a great performer. You know, no matter if, if you don't like his music or not, uh, you still have to respect him for what he did. And yeah, he 